Hey yo guys, what's up and welcome back to Two Toe Tags Metal Reviews and today we're getting our first impressions of Torn Arteries by Carcass. So, Carcass finally dropped the album. Been hyped for this album for a while since they announced it. Uh, we've talked about this band before on the channel. We reviewed, we um, did a reaction to one of their videos, and you know we were none of us are huge fans of the band. I listened to them more than he did. Um, I I've been meaning to check out yeah. some of the like most popular albums, specifically Heartwork and Surgical Steel. I just yeah. hadn't found the time because we've been so like bombarded with albums this time of year it's been hard to find time to listen to other stuff yeah. but from what i recall i did enjoy what i heard from that first song we reacted to yeah i enjoyed it too i don't remember what it was called um but yeah I'm, i mean as far as my familiarity with the band goes hard work and surgical steel is basically as far as i've gone in their discography i have listened to other stuff like older stuff but didn't get very far with it don't remember what even what the albums are called to be honest but um i'm looking forward to this I've heard nothing but great things about it all day long. People have been talking about this album, and we're going to listen to it for the first time in its entirety, and we'll be back to let you know what we think about it. All right, we are back. We just listened to Torn Arteries in its entirety. I'm going to hand the floor to TV Fish. Well, I... I don't really know what I expected from this album going in, to be completely honest. My, my only reference point was one song that... I didn't really remember until I heard it on this record. But this album had so much more to it than I was expecting. Yeah. Like, every song had something unique and interesting about it. You know, there were there's so many different ideas and concepts going on with this record. It did not feel repetitive at all. No. Even though it's like, there's some points where it's like, okay, they're just kind of jamming on this groove. Every song has a character to it, and I think that's awesome yeah so um i guess i'll talk about my least favorite tracks and then my favorite tracks so least favorite um i would say might be track number five the devil rides out and a big part of it is because it didn't really even though it does have it does sound original like it it, it it's not my least favorite track because it's you know oh just more of the same i just kind of felt like, there wasn't much to it that really felt great. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like that there was a false ending in this song that didn't feel necessary. Like, they end off and you kind of hear, like, I don't even know what sound it really is. Like, the guitar on the amp kind of. Yeah. Not really a feedback, is it? It felt like, a, I have to hear it again, but it felt like it felt like the song was ending. It felt like it was totally over and it makes sense to end it that way. But they had to do a bookend, so they kind of just shoved it on there. Yeah. And if I recall correctly... In uh, Eleanor Rigor Mortis, which is track three, which is one of my favorite tracks, actually, they do a similar thing, but they did it really cool here, where the song just starts with a solo, yeah. and it ends the exact same way, same group with another solo. And I, yeah. you know, I heard that, I'm thinking, wow, that's interesting. I don't think I've heard a song do it like that before. Start and end with a solo like that, yeah, that was the first for me, too. I thought that was cool. Like, I've heard starting with a solo before, yeah, but sure. not a solo bookend, that's, yeah. that's different. Mm -hmm. So, um, another, I guess I'll continue talking about Eleanor Rigor Mortis, um, there's a completely different groove after that intro groove, but I really like that as well. The solo in the chorus is really good. There's a there's a few different groove changes, and they do that throughout the entire album, mm -hmm. and it works. There's great grooves. That's one of the. This is one of those albums where you can write that for like any song, really. Yeah. Like yeah, this is a great groove. Yeah, it's a cool riff. Yeah. And it, to a degree, gets to a fault where it's like, okay, what else do I say? However. Um, like I said, though, all the songs do have something unique about them. Um, I'm really curious what you think of the nine-minute-long track, number six, Flesh Ripping Sonic Torment Limited. I think the title of the song sucks. I don't know. <laughs> I'll say that right away. Um, weird titles on this album. So you did mention that every song has got different elements. This An example of that is this song starts with an acoustic intro. It's a nice the song's one. almost 10 minutes long. It's 9.42. By far the longest song on the album. Um, I like the song, didn't love the song, but didn't hate the song. I'm kind of in the middle on it. It has some really mean sounding grooves. Some of them tend to feel like they drag on a bit. 
I'm not just in this song, but on the rest of the album too, I feel like some of them just dragged on a bit. Again, first listen, really hard to really know where my thoughts are coming from. Um, for Flesh Ripping Sonic Torment Limited, a stupid name. <laughs> Um, the song's kind of up and down. It's got some mean grooves, like I said. It, it slows down in the middle for a little softer solo kind of thing compared to other solos, which are a little more thrashy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm very meh on the song. I feel like it'll probably grow on me once I learn it and get to know it better. But it is one of my lowest rated songs. Um, you mentioned The Devil Rides Out as the lowest rated song. That's also one of my lower rated ones, unfortunately. But some of my higher rated songs include The Dance of Ixtab, or just Dance of Ixtab, there's no the, uh, which was the single we reacted to. That song is awesome. It just has a really feel good riff to it, which a lot of songs do. Um, we'll probably talk about riffs a lot because the riffs, riffing is the strong point here. Um, but my highest rated track, other than that, is the last track, The Scythe's Remorseless Swing, which I thought was a great song to close the album. Finishes strong. Um, I wrote that the, I, I wrote, I'm just looking at my notes here. I wrote different vibe with this one. I can't remember exactly why I wrote that or what was different about it. Um, but more sick riffs, uh, more great solo. A cool thing about this was that you get a lot of songs that have two solos. But this one, the both solos were very close together, which I thought was pretty unique and pretty cool. So you had a solo and then maybe one or two bars of like just regular, like a verse. And then another solo, pretty much immediately they're, after. They're essentially trading at that, you know, really. But there was a thing in between, the which is unusual. Thing, uh, it happens. I don't trading. know. I, it sounded One weird to me. One guy does a bit, then there's a little interlude, then another guy does a bit. Maybe. I don't know. It sounded weird to me, but not in a bad way. It sounded weird in a good way. Um, Eleanor Rigamortis was a pretty good song. Um, in God We Trust was another higher rated song, song for me. Um, again, I, a lot of the notes I wrote was just overall feel good riffs. Just riffs where I'm just like, yes, I can get into this. Yes, I am behind this. This is awesome. The drum work was great. You got some really great fills in there. You got the album starts yeah. off with an awesome drum intro. Yeah. Um, there's another song or maybe a couple that have drum intros as well. Um, the Devil Rides Out, it sounded like someone was playing a xylophone or some sort of... It was a really weird pingy sound. I something don't know like if that. there was any kind of bells or keyboard or what that was. It sounded but... like something percussion and you heard little chimes here and there, um, a little bit of ride work here and there. It's a lot more than you would expect from knowing kind of like just, oh Carcass, yeah they're death metal, but you wouldn't expect to have all that kind of stuff in yeah. it, I guess, without knowing the band very well, you know? Exactly. Like You could tell they definitely tried to be as creative as possible with it. I think they did a good job. So this is a first listen. Um, I mean, we're gonna do what we normally do, listen to it all week long, take it all in, absorb it all, learn it all, figure it all out, and we'll be back next week to give you guys our full and final review of Torn Arteries by Carcass. But that's it for this video, so be sure to comment down below and let us know what you guys think on our first impressions. Like this video, like this, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I'm Vile Self. I'm TV Fish. See you guys in the next video. Keep those heads banging.